Now on my full package, it's a DS40. This particular printer is a DNP RX1, okay? Uh, it comes with a Lenovo C470. Everything's brand new. Uh, a Canon T3 with an adapter. Um, you don't need the synchronized cord. This was for another video that we were doing. You know, you still need a, um, we're still gonna be putting the power strip. Now, this is special. The ABR800 by Alien Bees, Paul Seepoff. This is what goes into that T20. When you get the box and you open it, it's in another box. And then you open it again. And this is what you see, all right? So first thing that comes out is the manuals. You have this. Take that out. And then you have the Alien B light. This is what you get. Pack it. This goes inside. I'm gonna put this guy in here. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. There's stuff right here. Well, I'm gonna bring it down in here. I'll have him follow me up here. All right, there's another box underneath. Another box, I'm gonna open it. And this box consists of a bracket by the way, this is the bracket that you're gonna cut, okay? In order for this to fit in a T20, you have to cut two inches off this bracket. I also created a video on how to do that. So, you can see that on my Facebook timeline. So anyways, um, see this thing comes off right here? This is the piece where you cut it. In order to fit. Uh-huh. What is this? Oh, I think I know what this is. It is bulbs. Air bulbs. Wait, let's make sure. Let's make sure. not bulbs <laughs> it is a light it is a light for what I don't know I've never had to use it but they threw it in there and it's here. what else comes with it a little stand stand that you don't need what else comes with it the cord, obviously. This is a power cord for the Alien B. The bracket, the way it works, going back to the table right here. Carlos, if you could just follow me up here. Uh, do me a favor, go around. Okay. Go around. Okay. Your light goes here, like this, into that T20. This guy right here, okay, gets mounted. In this hole right here, so it's like a puzzle. Okay, so this piece has to come out right here. You don't need this. Let's take this piece out. Let's take this piece out. You don't need this. Oh, you don't need this. And you don't need. You don't need that. 
and you can take this guy out you don't need that this is all you need but first you got to take this piece out slide this guy out completely so now it's out right now this connects here okay now I said you gotta cut this piece because technically this is facing this way. Uh, it's facing it's facing this way because your camera. This is plastic, by the way, so it's really fragile. So you gotta be careful with that. So your camera actually um, <laughs> it's backwards. It goes this way. So your camera actually sits here it slides it that way so when this thing is inside the t20 it goes in this way and this way and then this one gets mounted on the back and then your camera sits on top i feel like i'm spending a lot of time doing this <laughs> okay there's a, a a bolt that we're gonna provide for you to screw this in in place so it's all secured I think it's this way so imagine the bolt in here getting secured and then this thing is sliding right here so now your camera would sit like that and that's technically how the alien B works all right now I'm gonna do another series of how this whole thing gets mounted you know inside the alien B the whole nine yard actually I'm gonna get Carlos to do that for me and I'm just right now I'm just going through what equipment goes you know to, to wear um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy right here so I can show it to you and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this a little further out so you can see it okay this is your t20 earlier I was mentioning the alien B it goes in here I'm gonna put it in and that's how it slides so go ahead and take a look at that it's nice and clean it's flush okay now going back up here you see my hand I'm holding that and this guy right here okay I'm gonna go ahead and mount it I'm gonna put it in there now before I do that I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna slide this like that because I really can't slide it while it's on there. So. All right, that's flush right there. You can kind of see what I'm where I'm heading. At. All right, there's this bolt I was telling you we're gonna provide, and let's kick this guy out there. Oh, I'm just gonna put it underneath. Use the washer when you do this. I'm just taking a shortcut. Yeah, I'm taking a shortcut just for demonstration purposes. So. But use the washer. Okay. So now it's secured. It's there. It's there pretty good. It's not going to go anywhere. Well, it's still a little loose because I got to really tighten it up underneath but it's 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 secured this guy right here slides here all right slides here okay and again your camera sits on top right here there is a bolt that goes underneath it to secure the camera so you just in it okay so imagine this is there of course when you install your camera make sure you install the adapter on it too here's the kicker see how earlier I was telling you it needed to be cut by two inches here's the reason why wow it's pushing it right now yeah. 
So that's why right here, see? It can't close. It can't close. So it needs to be cut, all right? So make sure you cut this by a couple of inches and that makes it easier for everybody. And that's pretty much how the Alien B goes in. Um, up here, it's the same thing as the T11. You have this bar, you unscrew it, you unscrew it. You slide the monitor in, and then you hold it with your finger and you put this in, screw this in. Same concept, a hole in the bottom. This is where your cord will go, it'll run in here. You got a little vent on the top. What else? Vents in here. And um, let me take this piece out so I can close it. Take this piece out and you see, slide this guy out here. Let me put that in here. Oh, let's talk about the Alien B just so you can see your synchronized cord gets plugged in here all right this usually this is this so if you put it all the way up in here it's really hot and it gets bright it's it's bright so you normally what i do is i pull it all the way down in here and don't ask me why because i don't really know what these are all about but i know that um that's what every one of my customers do so power gets here the sh you know the, the on and off button all right, let's move in here next. Let's close this up. Lock it in. Once all of your equipment is in, um, this will allow you to tilt. You know, you're just pulling and you can tilt it you know, for the kids. So there were a kid sitting there, I mean, you know, standing there. There's really no need for the stool. You know, you just tilt it, you know, based on that. So now there's a straight. So that is your t20 um right here you have okay guys i'm gonna talk to you guys about mm, taking a t20 apart uh, say for instance you're finished with your event i like doing this i like taking this top first off so Take it off, right there. And personally, I like lifting it from here. The reason why I like I like doing it this way is because of this this uh, lever on the on the right, right here. You know, it just gets in the way when I take the top off. You know, it's it's inside the hole. It, it gets in the way. So what I do is I take this one off first, and then I carry the whole thing. And of course, you have to make sure that all the cords are already separated. And it's a lot easier to do it that way for me. I don't know about you guys. So I'm gonna take the kids out. And then what I do is I lay them down. Oh wait, there's a monitor in there, so I really can't hold it there. So I lay them down like that. Then I release this. And I release this. And then take that guy. And that. And I'm not supposed to be holding it in here because there's a light, so make sure you're holding it in here. All right, so that settles that. You got the U bracket right here, and then you got the head. So, so there are two types of cases. There is the truck version, which is a big case. Uh, I think I have one in the storage. And then there's a car version. The car version actually consists of a case just for the top, and a case just for the for everything for this base the stand and this u bracket uh i did a video on that one on my timeline also on my facebook so you could probably see that in there too i should put it in my youtube but um all right so we've established that that one goes in one case at the top by itself you know because it's 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 pretty bulky and when it goes to the case you gotta take this ears out you know so it's not that hard you just unscrew it right here this this thing completely comes off but i did it that way to make the case really compact so make sure you're keeping this in place like that both not just one one side next is you're taking this part off right here okay comes off like that and 
then last but not least is the back okay take this guy off right here this is in pretty tight so you gotta put a little muscle in there yeah, so that's where all the weights are as you can see there's a little bolt in here that's right there and voila Go ahead and shoot that. These are all your T20 pieces. It's not bad. I mean, there's not a lot of work in it. So you got the base, two stands, a U bracket, and the head. So other than that, you're pretty much set up. And then you're just basically setting your printer right next to it, running the cord. I prefer wireless printer. This way it's more cleaner. Okay, I think that's it.